Okay guys, I'm back with another setup on Assetto Corsa again, and this time we're taking the 458 GT2 around Spa. So, the reason I'm doing this setup is because recently I decided to go into a random lobby um, driving the Corvette GT2. Didn't have a setup for it, so I just loaded the Mugello one I had, because I thought it's going to be okay. Shouldn't come up against anyone too, like, too fast within that lobby. It's like, I've not really came up against too many people that I've had to really worry about putting too many setups against yet. So, we get into the race and there's some guy in there who I've raced very early on the game and he, he pushed me really hard. So I thought it would be a good race until I saw that the 458 was literally about a second and a half faster than the vet around this track. It was just impossible for me to keep up with the vet. Maybe with a really good setup and we may have stayed close, but I decided the best option to do would be to go back and work ourselves um, a good setup out for the 458 GT2 around Spa, as you can see now. So we're going to go through the little track I had with this car. The lap wasn't perfect, I was pushing really hard trying to find out where I can get next to time. We managed to get our lap at the exact same time as we achieved as well, so I'm pretty happy with it. But there was definitely half a second more. So we're braking on the 100, going down into second gear, and being careful on the power, and hard on the power as it has with the exit. We've got traction control on the weakest setting, so we've, we've got a little bit there just in case we need it, but it shouldn't really keep it all if you look at the bottom right hand. So going through a rouge, into second gear, flat out through a rouge, do not lift. Just use a little bit of the curve there to straighten up your exit, try not to take too much off it. And going down the straight, you should be hitting about 164 to 165 miles per hour, I think it is if we actually do. Have a quick look at it. And then when we breach the curve, just before the curve on the left, we're going to break down into third gear there. Going down into third gear, use a little bit of curve on your entry point. Trying to use a bit of curve then for the second part of the chicane. Then getting our car lined up for the fast right hand now we're going to get the power down in third gear. We ran a little bit wide there, possibly losing about two minutes of a second. Now we're coming into the corner, I like to take a really tight entry into this corner um, I do it on a few other corners as well, I take quite a tight entry into that area. Then going into third gear for this corner, hard on the power, we run a little bit wide there but we don't actually lose too much time as we manage to keep it, keep it on the track basically. So we're into fifth gear now, then we're going to go down into fourth gear, just be careful of the understeer on this corner, you can get a little bit of understeer, be patient with the throttle, then hard as you can in the exit now. Going into fifth gear, we're going to look out the gate for the bridge, we're going to break just past the bridge, going down into third gear, and we're going to try and take a nice tight line on this corner again and get on the power hard and then we really want to get on the car as early as possible keep that car to the inside so you can get the car as early as you can through that corner and down into third gear for this corner taking a tight line again and on the power as soon as you can to get as clean exit because that speed will carry you all the way down the straight now any speed you gain is going to gain time now from this from that corner all the way to the uh, tight chicane up ahead we're going to go into sixth gear around this corner now, flat out, not really a problem with this car, quite a lot of downforce, especially the setup we're running, I'm quite aggressive with the setup because we'll go through, go through a minute and it seems to last okay with the uh, soft gear with the tyres on the race. We're going to go down into second gear, taking a nice tight entry there and then careful on the throttle into first gear as we feel the back end going a bit, then into second gear as we come out the exit, nice clean gear, we'll go over the line for 2 minutes 17.1, like I say this should have been a 2 second at least in that, in that lap for this car so maybe once we get more used to the setup we can get that lap time down so we're going down through the setup we see that we're running 65 on the um, brake balance and 5 fuel that was for the obviously a qualifying lap um, aero 1-3 felt right for me 1-4 will give you a bit more stability on the rear but it also creates a bit of understeer which I didn't like Okay, for the differential we went maximum to 85 for the coast and 10 for the power. 10 gives us the traction coming out of the corners and the coast 85 gives us a lot of stability under heavy braking as this car doesn't have ABS. So looking at suspension we ran the cambers reasonably low, toes giving more support to the rear end and for braking again we tried to make the car better under braking with the toes. Ride height pretty low but not slammed down all the way to the floor. We went quite aggressive with the springs to so give us a lot of... Um, Rip, rip, like response through the corner so we could really chuck it into the corners um, and <clears throat> with regard to the dampers we adjusted quite a few things again just adjusting the rear to give us more support and um, helping the braking out again a lot of it was done for and rip out on the acceleration coming out of corners okay what I'll do now is I'll just rerun the setup back through quickly going through on the screen and through the suspension and, and drivetrain etc um, and then what we'll do is we'll leave you guys with a TV replay camera of the 458 GT2 lap I just did then. So it's another lap that sounds amazing on this game. It's one of the best sounding cars in the game is a 458 GT2. So make sure you watch it. It sounds brilliant. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more future videos. Thanks again guys.
Thank you.